<laughs> We're from a town with no stoplights and a cow population of 278, that's interesting to know, to conquering Hollywood with roles in Insatiable and Shameless. Arden Marine's rise to fame wasn't a typical one. Now she is detailing her unique and hilarious life in a new memoir, Little Miss Little Compton. Arden, welcome. Thank you. Hi, Jackie. So wait. Let's talk about the book. Oh, you mean this whole thing? You mean this thing? <laughs> written by this gal, Jackie? Do you mean written by this gal? Look at that. Let me like tell you, when you described yourself as, I can't remember his name from the Harry Potter. Ron Weasley. I was like a, a young, redheaded, ginger male wizard. Why was now the time for this memoir? Look, did I think I was going to launch a book during a global pandemic? I, no, I wouldn't guess that I saw this one coming. But I will say, you know, I, I, I am aware, like, I wanted to make people laugh. I always grew up, I love, like, David Sedaris novels. I love memoirs of quirky families and funny essays. And I had an unusual upbringing, and I, I had a wonderful mom. I had kind of a tricky dad. And and then, I, like, if for spoiler alert, and I don't want people to be bummed out because I'm doing okay, but, like, I actually found out I sold the book on the way to my mom's funeral, which was very sudden last year. And she was barely in the proposal. And my friend who read it um, said that it wasn't my memoir, that it became my mom war because it really became her book, like just where I was at in life writing it. You know, I wrote this last year walking through that process. And I, even though it was a painful year, it was actually like this really beautiful year. And I feel it's actually appropriate for what's happening in the world right now. Like I think a lot of people are having a hard time in that it may not be your best year ever, but it doesn't have to be your worst. With those stories, the ones that are that are are not so painful, you put a funny kind of spin on so many things. Were they funny to you when you were in them, when you were living these things? Did you realize how funny it was? I mean, I yes, I have to say, I like the get. My family is was very funny. Like my whole family is funny, and it's very exciting to get to put it on paper and share it with the world. Yeah. I didn't realize till I was fourteen, like how my parents met. Like my parents were co-workers in New York City. They never went on one date, one New Year's Eve. They were out for cocktails. Everybody got two weeks vacation. And if you went on a honeymoon, you got an extra two weeks vacation. So my dad dared my mother to marry him and that he would take her on a four week vacation to South America. Strangely, she agreed. They couldn't find a Bible to swear on. They swore on a cookbook. And then the next day she called him back. She's like, I'll do it, but I don't want to get it annulled. And they stayed married for 50 years. And your friend, fellow actress Debbie Ryan, wrote the forward for you. Why was she the perfect person? Because I understand when you asked her to do it, she burst into tears. There's certain people you think, I'm never going to lose touch with Monica. Monica and Arden for life. And then like, you never talk to Monica again. Or maybe you have one awkward lunch and like out of context, you have nothing to talk about. <laughs> and... I would have never guessed as like an adult going into Insatiable that this like Disney former child star would be the person that we just clicked. She's yeah. so funny. She's so, we just liked each other. I was actually with her when I found out about my mom, we were at a twerking class. We were taking a twerk out class what? at a Hasidic rec center. What? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you talk about all of these types of things on your podcast? And what's the name of your podcast? It's called Will You Accept This Rose? It's a bachelor theme podcast. Right, because you're a big fan of The Bachelor. I'm a big fan of The Bachelor. And what's crazy is, like, my my mom died during the season. So I, I was like, do I do, like, do I go do the Did you? Show? Yeah, I did. And I was like, to my listeners, I was like, I don't want to freak you out. And I thought it was going to scare people, but it actually brought people in. Like, so they sometimes joke, it's the only podcast about The Bachelor and grief <laughs> for the last year. Like, <laughs> and to hear that not only were people not put off, but they actually liked the podcast even more because everybody has stuff. You know, everybody's going through something. So to show up for a podcast about The Bachelor, right? And yeah. then you get to hear... You know, not only do I get, I'm, I'm in this community yep. and so I'm not the only one that's going through a hard time. Let me let everybody know that you can get Little Miss Little Compton. Yes, there are two littles in that title. Yes. It's out everywhere books are sold and digitally now. It was so much fun. Bye. <laughs>